And so we said beliefs refers to our idea of who God is. Another thing about beliefs is that our beliefs are revealed in our notions. They are established and entrenched in our notions. Your notion is what you accept as true or as not true. I'm going to listen very well. Notions. What you accept as true or as not true. The danger with notions, notions are beliefs, very strong beliefs. The danger with notions is that many notions are not based on truth. Many notions are based on assumptions. What you just assume, you just wake up and assume that something is like this and is like that. Like somebody that has gone to the age of 18, now having the notion that, listen, I'm 18, so because government saying that I'm 18, I'm an adult, and so I don't need parental guidance, I don't need my parents to tell me what to do. It's notion, but that notion, is it accurate or not? Does it reflect the scriptures? Does it reflect the thoughts of God? Is that how God is thinking? about coming to the age of 18. And one of the issues we are challenges we're having now that governments are destroying the lives of children all over the world, down in the West. Destroying the lives of children, telling them lies and making laws to, to uncuff their parents from being able to take care of their children the way God planned parents to take care of children. God didn't give the responsibility of the care and training of children to the government. He gave it to, the, to their parents, principally their father. Not government. But the government have usurped the authority of parents and now they are the ones deciding how parents take care of their children, train their children. But the point is this. If you have that notion, oh, I'm 38, oh, I'm like this, oh, I'm like that, is it that notion will affect your decision, the decisions you make in life. And so the first thing you do is to know God's word and then let your notions ask yourself this thing I'm thinking, this notion or notions that I have. Do they agree with God's thoughts as revealed in the written scriptures? Do they agree? Don't just wake up and make up your mind over things without checking first with the word of God. So what should you do if you are a child, a son, a daughter, go to the word of God and find out who a daughter is. What, what is the responsibility of a daughter? What is the responsibility of a son? You are a wife, a mother. Go to the word of God and find out first. Don't assume that because I'm a daughter, I'm a son, I'm a mother, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a wife, this is my role. This, no, don't assume. Go to the word of God and find out what your role is. How God created you. What God created you for. The same thing as a father, as a husband. Go to the word of God and find out what God created you for. What purpose he has for your life. Hallelujah. And let your notions reflect that. Let your ideas about life reflect that. 